if 4 raised to the power s square divided by 2 raised to the power s is equal to 8, what is the value of s? Welcome to my class. In today's class, we want to quickly look at how we can find the value of s from this given exponential equation. We have 4 raised to the power s square divided by 2 raised to the power s is equal to 8. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Solution. We have 4 raised to the power s square divided by 2 raised to the power s equal to 8. Then 4 can be rewrite as 2 raised to the power 2 or raised to the power s square divided by 2 raised to the power x is equal to 8. Then remember if you have a raised to the power n raised to the power m the same thing as a raised to the power n n. Then we have 2 raised to the power 2 s square divided by 2 raised to the power s is equal to what? 8. Also, 2 raised to the power 2 s square multiplied by 2 raised to the power minus s is equal to what? 8. Remember, if you have a raised to the power n multiplied by a raised to the power m is equal to what? a raised to the power n plus m. Therefore, the equation become 2 raised to the power 2x squared minus s equal to 8 can be expressed as 2 raised to the power 3. Then they have the same base. This one will cancel this. We are left with 2s squared minus s equal to what? 3. Then let's equate everything to 0. We have 2s squared minus x minus 3 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation and we are going to solve this equation using factorization method and using quadratic general formula. So step one, that is first method. We have 2 a square minus s minus 3 equal to 0. We have 2 times minus 3, that is minus 6. So we are going to find the two values such that the product will give minus 6 and then the sum will give minus 1 because of the coefficient of x here is 1. So therefore, if you have minus 3 times 2, it is going to give you minus 6. Then minus 3 plus 2 is going to give you minus 1. Therefore, we have 2 s square minus 3 s plus 2 s minus 3 equal to 0. Then we have, let's factorize this, s into 2 s minus 3 plus 1 into 2 s minus 3 then equal to 0. If you open the bracket you are going to get what is a back. So we have 2s minus 3 here, we have 2s minus 3 here, and a is s, and here is 1. Therefore, we have s plus 1 equal to 0, or 2s minus 3 equal to 0. From here, s is equal to what? Minus 1. Then from this one, we have... 2s minus 3 equal to 0. Therefore, 2s is equal to what? 3. Let's divide both sides by 2. Divide this side by 2. This one will cancel this. s is equal to what? 3 over 2. Therefore, the value of x are 
s is equal to minus 1 and 3 over 2. So that is our answer using factorization method. Then the second method is that we want to use quadratic general formula to know if our answer is right or wrong. Then from the quadratic general formula we have s, let's call this step 2, step 2, we have s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a then and the equation is 2a square minus s minus 3 equal to 0 then a equal to 2, b equal to minus 1, and c is equal to what? Minus 3. Now let's substitute into this equation. We have s is equal to minus into minus 1 plus or minus square root of our b is minus 1 square minus 4 times our a is 2 and the c is what? Minus 3. Or divide by 2 multiply by a is what? 2. Then we have minus times minus 1. We have s is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square is 1 then minus 4 times 2 that is minus 8 times minus 3 that will be plus 24 plus 24 then over 2 times 2 4 therefore you have s is equal to 1 plus or minus 24 plus 1 that is square root of 25 divided by 4 and which is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 25 is what? 5 divided by 4. Therefore, the value of x are s is equal to 1 plus 5 over 4 or 1 minus 5 over 4. Then we have s is equal to 1 plus 5, that is 6 over 4, or 1 minus 5, that is minus 4 over 4. Then, 2 here, 2, 2 here, 3, then here, 4 here, 1, 4 here, 1. Therefore, our final answer is s is equal to 3 over 2, or minus one then we should also correct using quadratic general formula if you have enjoyed the class please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you